one more video from the lectures of Paul G. Hewitt. This one is about uh, the generation of electric, of electric current, about electrical generators and how they are connected to electrical motors. And really one device can uh, perform both of these functions. One device, the same device can be an electrical motor or a generator for electricity, just depending on how you hook it up. So if you are moving the, the wire in the magnetic field, you will create electric current in those wires. However, if on the other hand you send electricity through those wires, the wires will move um, in the magnetic field and you will get the motor effect. It's a common, it, it should be a common knowledge. People should know about this uh, and, and understand how electricity is generated. And Hewitt just has a really neat way how to, how to bring this uh, to his audience. Okay, gang, how many be saying, yeah, it's probably so that uh, you can go from magnetism and make electricity? Show of hands. Well, almost. Oh, okay. All right. Okay. All right. All right. We're all together. Yeah. Okay. All right. Let's see how that was done in 1831. This was done by a couple of physicists about the same time in history. One was Michael Faraday, a Scottish guy in England, and the other was Joseph Henry, an American type in Vermont in the 13 colonies. And they both at the same time found the same effect. And here's what they discovered. They had, meter, they, had motor, uh, they had meters similar to this at that time, but they didn't how, know how to get electricity. Well, they got electricity from batteries. A fellow by the name of Volta, Alexander Volta, Italian type, made batteries, and that was kind of nice. Everyone's excited about electricity. And then Michael Faraday and Joseph Henry discovered the following. No batteries. Batteries over there, gang. No batteries, no tricks. Magnet, wire, meter. Watch this. You see anything? No. Faraday didn't see anything either. Okay. <laughs> okay. And uh, but watch this. Henry didn't see anything either, but watch this. Did you see something? Again. My goodness. My goodness. There's no battery nearby, and guess what we are generating? Begin with EC. Electric current. I am generating electric current. And Faraday and Henry found out that. No batteries, no cells, no, no, no lightning, none of that. Just the motion of a wire in a magnetic field. So Faraday goes to bed and he's really excited about that. And while he's in bed that night, I'm making this up now. While he's in bed that night, he's kind of thinking, gee, I wonder what would happen if I did it with two wires. So he gets up in the middle of the night, takes his candle, goes downstairs, had to do a candle. Little did he know that he was going to get rid of candles, honey. The candle industry was furious later on, okay? Because what he did is he went down and he took two wires and guess what happens with two wires, gang? twice as much current. Goes back to bed. <laughs> then he thinks, I wonder three wires. Shall we try it? Okay. Didn't sleep the rest of the night, gang. I wonder a million wires. What do you think? A million times as much. Okay? This is a remarkable discovery that one can, it turns out, induce voltage by simply moving a wire in and out of a magnetic field. And so Faraday's discovery is couched a little differently. Today it's called Faraday's Law. And what it says is this, a little more complex. Change the magnetic field in a closed conducting loop of wire. It doesn't even have to be conducting. Just change the magnetic field intensity in a closed loop, and you will induce a voltage in that loop. Now this loop happens to be a copper wire. So the voltage in that produces a current. So look at this. You get a current. Change the magnetic field in two loops of that closed copper wire. Two loops of that circuit. And guess what you get, gang? Twice as much voltage. Three loops. Three. Da, 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 da. So that's the rule. All you got to do is change the magnetic field intensity, and you will induce a voltage, which will produce a current if you're talking about a conductor. Ain't that neat?
That is really, really nice. Now we can produce electricity. So you know how all of Europe started converting to electricity. They started having lamps and all that stuff, and they had all these kids up in the hills going like this. <laughs> okay. <laughs> and these kids are all doing this thing. Okay, and one day they say, hey, we're getting tired doing this. See that waterfall coming down? Why don't we put this wire on a great big piece of wood and have it rotate, huh? By the waterfall, put a little paddle wheel, and we'll go home and get all the electricity. And that's, of course, the, the start of the Industrial Revolution. I'm making that part up, but you get the idea. <laughs> all you've got to do is rotate the loop in a magnetic field or just plop in and out of the magnetic field, and there's your electricity. Mm. Faraday's Law. Got such a thing? Now, over here, we have a generator. Turns out this is a generator, too. I take the time to do this. Well, I'm not going to take the time to do this, gang, because i got too many ideas to talk about. But with this, what I would now do is I would now hook up the electromagnet, and I wouldn't put any hook up with this, the, the, the coil, with the battery at all. I'd make that an electromagnet, and then I'd hook this up to the galvanometer and turn this, and guess what you're going to see over here? It's the same thing as just take like, like, like twisting it in here, okay? You're going, to see, you're going to see current produced, okay? I'm not going to take the time to do that. I can kind of show you this because it it's already hooked up. I think you've seen this before. Look at that. I'm lighting up the lamp, okay? Now, I'm generating electricity to light up the lamp. See if you're sitting next to someone who knows how is it I'm able to generate electricity and light up that lamp by turning the crank. What is going on? Okay, gang, how about it? How about it? What is going on? How am I generating electricity over there? What am I doing? What's Faraday say you got to do? I got to change the magnetic field intensity in some closed loop of wire, yeah? And guess what's inside here, gang? Begin with closed loop of wire. And when I take that closed loop of wire and I rotate it, guess what I do to the magnetic field intensity? If I'm holding my arms out like this and it's raining and the rain's coming straight down, boom, right through my arms, I got a lot of rain coming through my arms, yeah? How about I turn like that? How much rain coming through? None. Okay, how about I go like that? Some. I mean, I can't keep doing it. You see what I'm saying? <laughs> but I could, I, could clip the, I could clip the amount of rain that I'm... Up. You see what I... Same thing over here. In the magnetic field, you're, you're rotating a loop. You're changing the magnetic field in that loop. Honey, you're getting a, you're getting a, a voltage. And that voltage light up the lamp. You see that, yeah? I mean, it's just not an interesting little gadget here. I want you to see what's going on with it, huh? Okay. 